Monday there's going to be mixed emotions. Um, I suppose we're excited, we're delighted. I suppose a rainbow of emotions almost. I mean, we, we get to meet customers that we haven't seen in almost six months. Um, you know, we, we, lives have gone on. Um, and when we just get to say hello, I suppose open the door and, and welcome them in again. It's been, it's been a hard six months, um, I suppose financially as well as mentally. Um, you know, we, we've received, we've received um, supplements and we've received benefits from, from the state, but you know, it's been very little. Um, and, but more so than that, I mean, we're all very sociable beings. I mean, we're very sociable people in this trade. Um, and to have a loss of that social outlet has been really, really hard on the, on the head, you know. It's, it's, it's the return of our last freedom. So I mean, we, we, we've had a lot of personal freedoms removed. Um, and, and rightly so, we need to do the right things to ensure that we, we flattened the curve. I mean, we minded ourselves, we protected ourselves. And, and I suppose Monday is, is the day that, you know, one of the last ones is, is back and we, we can go out, socialise within, within the requirements and, and enjoy ourselves. Um, look, we, we got our guidelines last week. Um, they weren't a surprise to us. Uh, so, look, I mean, we, we've gone through the premises. There's, there's, there's things that you will see, there's things that you won't see. I mean, one of, one of the things that you probably won't, won't visually see inside, I and mean, we, we've introduced a new air handling system um, just to circulate the air a little bit better in, in areas that we think that it wasn't as good. Um, and then you're going to see the very visible, we've, we've incre increased the numbers of snugs, we've increased screens, I mean, you'll see count the counters are blocked off with screens. Um, it's going to be different, it's going to be a, a change, but I mean, it's, it's, for, it's for people's safety, really, um, and for our safety. What are you hearing from customers? <laughs> uh, uh, giddy, giddiness, I think, is, is, what, is what's coming in. I mean, I, I, very genuinely, there's, there's, there's an energy coming from our customers and our staff that has been missing for the last number of months. Um, they're very, very excited you know, about coming back. Um, and it's, it's not so much the, it's not the alcohol, it's the, it's the social interaction. You know, it's, it's actually seeing the faces that, that you're so used to seeing. We've all done what we've had to do. We've all behaved ourselves. We've stayed apart. We've stayed distant. You know, and I suppose Monday is is a coming back to to the new norm. We'll be a little bit apart, but it will be at least we can wave at each other from across the counter. I, look, I think I think the single biggest challenge that we've had is is to occupy ourselves. Um, you know, we're 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 used to working long hours. We're used to to, to being very social. We're used to having customer interactions. When, when you take all that away, I mean. You, you lose, I suppose, an element of your life. Um, so, I mean, that's, that activity has been quite hard, but I mean, we've been very lucky here. I mean, we've, we've, we've run a, a home brew challenge with our staff where we paired ourselves up with breweries around the country. Um, we've all learned how to brew beer. Um, we've had a lot of training going on. I mean, the guys went, we sent the guys off on, on whiskey and spirits training. Um, so, you know, so they're coming back, they're a little bit more educated, a little bit more knowledgeable. Um, you know, and that, that will help them and help the customer experience when people come in. Like we, we, are, we are excited and we're, we're energised, we're enthused about, about opening. Are we nervous? Yeah, 100%, right? I mean, we have stayed closed for six months, you know, to make sure that we're safe, our customers are safe, our friends are safe, our family are safe. You know, we don't want to jeopardise that when, when we open. So, I mean, there's always going to be that, that little bit of nervousness and, I suppose, concern in the back of our minds. Um, we want to ensure that what we're doing is right. We want to ensure what we're doing is safe. You know, and, and I suppose we want to make sure that anyone leaving here and leaving any pub across the country, you know, does so in a safe manner and, and goes back to their family as, as they should. Looking forward to the day. Thank God it's been, you know, it's, it's been a long time coming. Um, so glad just to be, be able to get back in and meet our customers and have a chat. And a lot of our customers, you know, we've young and old. They just can't wait to get back in, you know, and feel what the pub is like again, where we don't have to pay the nine euro tax you know, for a, for a, for a bad, bad ball of wings. So look, we're looking forward to getting people back in. And it really, really is. It's, it's pub is a place for people to meet of all ages. It's a public, a pub is a pub. You know, it's not a restaurant. How difficult have the last few months been so for you? The last, the last six months have been extremely difficult because, you know, we've been brought up the, the garden path a few times and left down again at the altar. You know, we, Mentally for some of the staff has been difficult. Mentally for myself has been difficult. But at least we're opening now and it's great. You know, this is a great old family business and the Collinses had it before me and I've taken up the mantle from the Collinses and it's a family business. It's been here a long time, been here nearly 80, 90 years. And six months out of 80, 90 years, we can, we can handle. But it's been a tough, been very tough. How do you make the premises COVID safe? What kind of stuff? Well, we've we put partitioning in, in at the bar counters, but 
Unfortunately, we're not allowed to sit at the bar counter at the moment, but hopefully before Christmas we might have you back at the bar counter. You know, we've put paneling in, we've, you know, obviously uh, we put in extra tables and chairs and um, we've put in, um, you know, spacing of the tables and taken out tables where, where, we, where we can't um, provide a two metre distance. So we, we hopefully, We'll, we'll, we'll survive and we'll get on and if we get if we get people back in we'll survive. We have 27 pages of guidelines which we're supposed to adhere to but in honest with you, there's probably five or six pages that are really relevant to, to the bars and you know common sense is, 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 is probably the biggest and important guideline that we're giving our staff you know people have been living with COVID for the last six months and we're just basically carrying on what we did, you know, what everybody's doing, you know, keeping your keep your distances, um, wash your hands, you know, um, you know, not don't be stupid. We've asked our staff not to go in the way of putting themselves in a position to they could bring COVID into the pub and into their workmates. You know, have a bit of bit of common sense. You know, not be go, not to be going to house parties. Keep keep it keep it keep it real. Cause COVID is there, and we we respect it. And we closed six months ago because we thought it was very important, and we still think it's very important. I can't wait. I really can't wait to see people's faces coming in where they can sit down and have a pint. You know, even a cup of coffee. You know, sometimes pubs aren't just for, for, for drinkers, they're for people who want to go in and have a cup of coffee, you know. You know, we're open for everybody because we are a public house and it's for everybody, you know, all ages. And that's what we want to see. You know, we want to see people back in having a cup of coffee, having a chat, you know, not, not being stuck at home, you know, surfing the internet. Get back in, have a crack, you know, have a pint, have a chat, have a laugh, but still be careful, you know, wash your hands. I'm worried about, you know, how the trade is going to be. You know, Tom's is a beautiful bar, and unfortunately it's going to be small and our numbers are going to be tight, but we're quite confident that if we can get 50% of the people into the premises, we'll be happy, you know, and it's, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be difficult, I'm apprehensive, but I'm glad the staff are getting back to work. I really am, and it's, it's so important for them. You know, six months out of 80 years, we'll take that. But these are kids and they need to get back working. We're, we're probably going to get 30 in the bar and we'll probably get another 30 or 40 in the laneway. And if the weather permitting, we might get a few more out the front. But if we can get 50% of our, of our occupancy, I'll be very happy.